Real quick, I wanted to introduce uh, Chief Joe Elam. He's uh, with Edmund Fire Training, and he was part of our last demo, and uh, great to have him back on board as well. I've got Ginger Johnson, and she heads up all of our sales for dealers and is also for fire departments. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be, it's a 2013 Tesla Model 3. It will be in full thermal runaway, and we're going to light it with a, a torch. Uh, we believe around 180 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's when it'll cause the thermal runaway to start. And uh, real quick, I wanted to kind of give you guys a background on how we got here. We partnered with ProSol out of uh, Sheffield, United Kingdom, and these blankets are being used a lot in Europe. They're a few years ahead of us, but we're the sole importer for fire blankets in the United States for Fire Cloak USA. Uh, we spent the last, you know, four months since the last uh, demo and we've been meeting with Phoenix Fire Department, Las Vegas, Clark County Fire, uh, Wichita, Tulsa, all across the country. And, you know, we feel really good today. We've got, you know, every, all 50 states are being represented on this as well as four different countries. So we're getting the word out. We encourage you guys as well to share this and because all the communities are needing it. And I wanted to just, uh, like I said, I'm going to turn it over to Chief Joe and Ginger as the demo starts and guys are ready. So we're getting ready to go. And if you have any questions, be sure Fire Cloak USA, you can contact us, send us any questions, any concerns. If you need a blanket for a demo, let us know. We'll get one out to you. And, uh, you know, the other thing is kind of on the, how do you fund these things? And that's always a question we're getting. And the biggest answer, Clark County Fire, when we partnered with them, they wrote a grant and the grant was from the standard operating procedure we worked together and that grant was funded and so they're buying 170 blankets for their department so that's a great way for the, any of the departments to get funding for these and we encourage you if you have any questions that we'll write the grants we'll help you with the grants we'll get the information to you because it is a new hazard and we all got to work together on it i'm going to turn this over to Chief uh, Joe and Ginger, and we'll get started with the with the demo. They're going to light this fire with a torch with direct flame contact on the battery. As he talked about, anywhere from 150 to 200 degrees will uh, get these batteries into thermal runaway. And thermal run runaway just means that battery uh, is going to start creating its own oxygen. It's going to start a chain reaction like a domino effect and start igniting all the other cells in the large uh, structure of, of the battery. And uh, once it starts, it can get up to 2,500 degrees and it's very difficult to put out. And uh, we're gonna use this blanket and this blanket is not meant to put the fire out. It won't extinguish it, but it will suppress it and contain it until you, so you have time to get your water supply. And that's incredibly important, uh, like in parking garages, you know, you have car ferries on, on some of the uh, back east uh, areas and also large parking lots. That's already starting to pop. You see some, you start seeing some white smoke, that's going to be from the battery. In real life, basically, is flooding, believe it or not, especially if you're near uh, salt water, will cause these batteries to ignite during the thermal runaway. They do produce their own oxygen, so they'll start burning. Uh, wrecks will do that. Overcharging will cause this. Just get into full thermal runaway before we deploy this blanket. Well, the multi-use looks very enticing when you think about it, because obviously you don't have to buy another blanket after you use it the first time. The problem with multi-use is they're going to degrade. They're not going to work as well the second or third time as they did the first time. Uh, you're not going to get all the contaminants off of it, and there's some major contaminants that come off of that battery that you don't want to be in contact with or inhale, that type of thing. So what this blanket is going to do, it is going to contain the fire. It does not extinguish the fire. It contains the fire. Oh, the temperature was greater than 1,200 degrees. They're going to deploy the blanket. You're going to see how they're going to spread that out. They've got it centered, and you want to always approach the car from the front or the back. And they're at the same time, they're going to pull the corners and take it up and over that car. And 
then they will tuck the blanket underneath the car. Uh, that helps contain it, and that also, uh, in case of the wind, it'll keep that blanket intact on that vehicle. It takes two people to deploy it properly, and then you just let the blanket sit there and do its job of containing. Like any real life situation, you have to make some adjustments to make sure that it's on properly. When these are deployed, uh, the blankets, it's imperative that these blankets are centered. If you don't get them centered on the car, you're not going to have enough overlap, overhang to be able to tuck that blanket in underneath the car. Right. And that's, a, that's a very important or it won't work like it's supposed to. So again, that's a training issue. You practice it. Had some wind out here today that probably caused a little bit of that, but they also had never done it. Before. Let's also talk about some things that can happen to the environment. So let's say that uh, you're not deploying a blanket and you're going to use the traditional method of dousing it with water. What are some of the issues that you're going to run into with the lithium ion battery cars? Are you talking about just letting them burn out? Letting them burn out or trying to douse them with water? It's going to take a tremendous amount of water, probably up to around 10,000 gallons. So that, that's, that's a lot of water. That's why it, it does, you know, it's why it's retained and allows you to get your water source so you can get the fire extinguished because you're not going to need as much water once you get that temperature down. And it's going to, it, as, when it contains it, it's going to reduce that temperature greatly from up to 2,500 degrees down to less than 500, probably two, 300 degrees. And right. So then it's a lot more manageable to be able to uh, you know, tilt the car, get water underneath it so you can actually uh, get that fire out. So you can use near as much water, letting it, letting it, a lot of people or a lot of departments are, are going with, let's just let it burn, especially like on the interstate. Well, that creates a lot of environmental problems. Yeah. You're gonna have runoff, you're gonna have firefighters walking around that car inhaling uh, some of those contaminants. It's just not, it's really not a good plan to let them burn out. Again, when they pull this blanket, there might be a small amount of uh, visible flame. Uh, it's down to 96 degrees now. But that's to be expected. There may not be any, but you may. Uh, we're getting air back to it. Oh, there's a lot. Just a little bit. And that was from the contents. That wasn't even from the battery. What you saw, that little bit of flame, that was from the interior contents of the car. Free burning at 2,500 degrees is going to take a tremendous amount of water and you've got run. Uh, we suggest that the blanket actually goes with the company that is going to be picking up the vehicle. And to keep that vehicle covered with the blanket, because there's always the possibility that the fire can reignite. Uh, it's not uncommon when you are dealing with uh, lithium ion batteries that it does uh, reignite at some point. They can reignite up to 30 days after That's you right. extinguish it the first time. That's why salvage yards don't really like these EV uh, vehicles at all. But if they have that blanket and they can keep it wrapped up for that length of time, right. then uh, they'll be okay. I probably can't pronounce what that blanket's made of, 
that you can see it did not burn through. It's it's made of silica quartz. Oh, I can pronounce it. Yeah, you can pronounce it. <laughs> For transportation purposes, this blanket is very easy to keep on the back of a fire rig. Uh, it rolls up really nicely to uh, 28 inches by 12 by 10 and it's kept in a waterproof bag on the fire truck. For some of the issues that people would face during, let's say, hurricane season, um, that could possibly potentially happen if they have their car plugged in uh, in their house floods. Well, just the water getting in those batteries is gonna cause them to start shorting out. And it's gonna, and like I said, they do produce their own oxygen, so they will burn. And, part of the house that's not underwater is going to burn up. So. Yeah. Not real experience with hurricanes. Yeah, that's right. Not in Oklahoma. <laughs> if you have any questions, I'd be glad to try to answer them for you. If you want to call me at, at my office, I work for the Edmund Fire Department. I'm a chief training officer. And my number is 405-216-7316. Or you can email me at joe.elam at edmundok.gov. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Chief Joe, for being here today. And again, if you have any questions as far as Fire Cloak USA is concerned, you can go to the website and just click on the link below and send an email. Thank you very much for uh, watching this demonstration and I hope you got some really good information from it and I encourage you, you to do some research and to look into purchasing this product because it is a very very good product and it will make you be, make make it safer for your firefighters and maybe this one all right maybe this one open it up oh do you need your glasses all right, Edmund Fire Department. Oh, no, I'm no. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Joking, I'm kidding. joking. Uh, Kenny Yost, BSO Fire Rescue. Yeah. Congratulations. Outstanding, Kenny. I'll be in touch with you to get your blanket fit to you.